Theo was a gentle tiger, unlike any other in the lush jungles of Sundarban. Unlike his fierce counterparts, who flaunted their strength and prowess, Theo nurtured a kind and tender heart. He made friends ACR. Os the forest spectrum, chatting amiably with chattering monkeys, sharing sunlit clearings with fawns, and even, on one rare occasion, comforting a lost baby elephant. One radiant morning, as Theo lounged be. Why the riverside, his quick ears caught a series of desperate squeaks. Investigating the source, he found a tiny mouse caught in the thorny bush, struggling to escape. Theo carefully extended his massive paw. Retracting his claws, and gently pushed aside the thorny branches, freeing the tiny creature without causing it harm. Thank you, Theo. I am Peep. I thought I was surely done for this time, squeaked the mo. Use, his tiny heart pounding with relief. Off you go, Peep. Theo rumbled softly, his deep voice tinged with kindness. Be more careful next time. The story of Theo's gentle spirit spread far and wide, Eve. N reaching the ears of a wily old crocodile named Croc, who mocked Theo for his compassionate ways. Strength is what keeps us alive, not kindness, Croc hissed whenever he saw Theo. The jungle lived in harm. Only until one afternoon when a fierce storm struck. In its rage, a tree was uprooted, trapping Croc under its heavy trunk. Croc's strength was futile against the mass pinning him down. As Theo passed by, he heard Croc's muffled cries. Remembering the crocodile's scorn but driven by his innate compassion, Theo approached the fallen tree. With concerted effort, he pushed the trunk, gradually lifting it off the CR. Ocodile. Croc was stunned, not just by the show of strength but by the mercy shown by Theo. Perhaps, Croc, there is room in our lives for both strength and kindness, Theo murmured, helping the crocodile to his feet. From that day on, Croc never doubted Theo's way of life again. And Theo, the gentle tiger, continued to roam the forest, a friend to all and an example of the strength found in gentleness. By R.W.D.